join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytails for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching some more Avatar The Last Airbender. We are on book two, episode 12. That episode is called The Secret of the Fire Nation. And uh, let's just get right into it. Thank you guys for being here. You're awesome. Enjoy. Yeah! Wow, Katara with her hair all all down. Dang, go get that. Go get that, man. We just got out of the desert, so we must be around here. And we need to go to Ba Sing Se, which is here. Right, we're going like to Ba Sing Se. I mean, it's not like we have Appa to fly us there. Oh, I forgot. I was going to say, why don't we just fly? I'm glad you're doing better. She should wear her hair like that more often. No more distractions. Hello there, fellow refugees. The serpent's pass? Only the truly desperate take that deadly route. Well, which deadly route, route are you taking? We'll go that way. You should come with us to Full Moon Bay. Fairies take refugees across the lake. Guessing we're going to have to take the deadly pass after all. It's a lot of people to transport. I wonder if there's a, a long wait. Who have thought after all these oh, look years. who it is. I'm tired of living like this, aren't we all? Jet. Jet. He's back. My name's Smellerby and Longshot. Hey. Where are the rest of them? You want to help us liberate some food? Jed is up to his old tricks. Huh. Never thought we'd see that I guy again. Security! <laughs> oh no, he's back! Oh, my cabbage! Cabbage guy is back too! They didn't have to destroy them. He's the avatar. Ah, I see 50 avatars a day. And by the way, not a very impressive costume. <laughs> Those are pretty good imitations. My name is Toph Beifong and I'll need four tickets. As you can see, I am blind and these three imbeciles are my valets. But <laughs> I guess it's worth four tickets. Oh. Thank nice. you very much. Good job. I've seen your type before. Probably sarcastic, think you're hilarious, and let me guess. You're traveling with the Avatar. Ding, ding, ding. Do I know you? Mm. Ooh. Suki! Oh, wow. We're just... Wanted to find a way it's to like a reunion you. episode. <laughs> we got Jet, we got Cabbage <laughs> Guy. Good to see you too. We got Suki. Who else is so going to show up? Tickets for the ferry? Wouldn't you just fly across on Appa? Ooh. Are you doing okay? Best as he can. Avatar Aang, our passports, our tickets, everything's gone. What if we gave them our ticket? No. But next. Ew. Say it. Don't, don't spray worry. it, lady. Just let them take their tickets and go, lady. I can't believe this is the serpent's pass. I thought it would be more windy. You know, like a serpent. Hm. I guess they misnamed it. Ooh. Hope isn't going to get us into Bossing Say, and it's not going to find Appa. We need to focus on what we're doing right now, and that's getting across this pass. Say so. You're lowering the morale, Aang, of everybody. Uh-oh. Is that going to draw their attention? Let's go, let's oh, go. shit! Here we go! Okay, this is not good. It would be so screwed without her. Look at this thing. It looks so cool. Wow. Sokka, I'm fine. Stop worrying. You're right. You're right. You're perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. Wait! Oh, never mind. I thought I saw a spider. Oh my fine. god. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely being overprotective, but he did lose someone very important to him. Let's not forget. That was cool. What's going on with you? In the desert, all you cared about was finding Appa, and now it's like you don't care about him at all. I was so angry about losing Appa, I couldn't control myself. I hated feeling like that. Come on, you need a hug. Thank you for your concern, Katara. Take the hug. Aww. Aww. But I can take care of myself. I know you can. Then why are you acting so overprotective? Because... It's so hard to lose someone you care about. I lost someone I cared about. He didn't die. He just went away. Who is this guy? Is he taller than no, me? No, about your height. No, he's about your height. <laughs> is he better looking? It is, you stupid. 
I can't. I'm sorry. He still has feelings for... Forgot her name. <laughs> so, I want to say Yuki, but... Smellaby. I don't know if that's, that's right. That's an unusual name for a young man. I'm a girl! I'm a girl! Oh, now I see. <laughs> it's a beautiful name for a lovely girl. I've done some mm. things in my past that I'm not proud of. Regret? But that's why I'm going to Bossing Se. A second chance. A new beginning, that's starting with... Stealing food. But stealing food is an improvement from, you know, getting a bunch of innocent people killed in order to take out an army of Fire Nation. All right, we ran out of land. Parting the sea. Oh man, this is, this is so hey, cool. But this seems dangerous. Any break in concentration and they're all screwed. Oh, it's like going to an aquarium. Uh, that's a big what is that something. Uh-oh. Toph! Thank you, Toph, for saving all of our lives. I'll say it if no one else will. Ooh, another awesomely cool-looking creature. Oh, right. That thing looks horrifying. Oh, great and powerful sea serpent. Please accept this humble and tasty offering. Thank <laughs> Smack you. Smack him. Soccer. Look at all the different cool things they could do. Okay, I need to... My brother and I, when we were younger, we would play with my, my little ponies. They were my favorite. And what we would do is we would... They each had their own power. Everyone just had one power and we would like make a little obstacle course and then just watch like have all of them go <laughs> and see how they all got across like a gap or something or like a tall jump with using whatever power they had and we had to get creative sometimes with them and this reminds me of that yeah she is completely blind in that water Me. What was that all about? Go ahead and let me drown now. What? <laughs> I think I'll just die now. <laughs> what? Does she have a thing for Sokka? Or was she... I'm, I'm confused, but... Is Mr. Sea Monster getting a little whiplash? Ooh. That'll knock him out for a while. We made it. There's the wall. It's still now so it's far. But... Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, shit. The baby's coming. What? Now? Can't you hold it in or something? Yeah, let me just Calm plug down. it up. As soon as I saw your scar, I knew exactly who you were. Oh? You're an outcast. Like me. And us outcasts have to stick together. I just don't know about Jet, you know? I don't trust yeah. him. I don't like him. Push! Oh. <laughs> I've been going through a really hard time lately. But you've made me hopeful again. I know what I want to name our baby now. Hope. Beautiful. I thought I was trying to be strong, but really seeing this family together, so full of happiness and love, it's reminded me how I feel about Appa and how I feel about you. <laughs> Fucking I cute. Need to do this. this show. This ready, show. Mom? <sighs> I'm really sorry about last night. I just got carried away, and before I knew it, I... Mm. You talk too much. Oh, Sokka smooth! He's got some moves. That's a really tall wall. No wonder Iroh had such difficulty taking this place down. What? Uh, where are all the refugees? Or is that? Wait. Sorry, Momo. Appa's gonna have to wait. Is that outside the wall or inside the wall? Well, I guess we're gonna find out on the next episode. Somebody did mention to me that the episodes are some of them are merged in, on the Netflix. So um, yeah. Now episode thirteen is uh. I guess maybe that's why this one is misnamed 
because it's like two episodes in one. But anyways, we'll just stop there. Um, what I was going to say about Jet and Zuko is that it, even though I don't really feel too great about Jet as a person, like Iroh said, people can change. It's good to give people second chances. And I think they made Iroh say that for a reason, like maybe to the viewers, like give Jet a second chance. And he did say that he wanted to turn a, a new leaf, even though he is literally stealing. But at the same time, it's kind of like a Robin Hood thing where it's like this guy was just hoarding all the food and giving the refugees just like you could barely call it food. Anyways. It would be nice for Zuko to have uh, a friend around his age, somebody besides Iroh, because just having Iroh only is not, it's not balanced. It's great that he's had Iroh this whole time, but he, you know, especially at his age, he needs friends his own age. And so... That could be good, but again, like, I don't know if I trust Jet. I don't know if he's going to be the best influence on Zuko. We will just have to see. It's nice to see some kind of romantic relationship strengthening. And I know that Aang was a little bit vague with what he said to Katara about how he really feels about her, but it seems to be moving, you know, more in that kind of direction where they express their feelings towards each other to one another because they've been kind of dancing around the subject for a while and also it's good to see that even though uh Sokka still has a lot of pain from Yuki is that her name shit I don't know but the the, the beautiful girl that I love well he still definitely f cares you know for her and has feelings for her it's good that he can move forward with a relationship with somebody else, with Suki, possibly, and yeah, and hope. And let's find Appa, because dang it, it's been too many episodes without Appa. And then we see the Fire Nation is doing something, I don't know what was going on there, but we'll see in the next episode. And um, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.